Hey Mojoholics, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Are you ready? I'm ready. In case you missed it, this week we finished up our series on the top 10 decade-defining songs per era. Most of you Mojoholics seem to love it, but some of you complained about the lack of metal, while others wondered why a given artist or a given song wasn't featured in a given decade. More on that later, but if you haven't already, check that one out. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. Also, for the fans of suspenseful cinema, we did top 10 Alfred Hitchcock movies. So if you don't already have a functioning fear of birds, showers, or heights, you should definitely feast your eyes on that one. The spring seems to be flying by, and that's probably because you've locked yourself in your room for days at a time watching us. So what's on the docket for this weekend's Mojothon? We decided to get mega controversial and do top 10 hated songs, which comes out on Saturday. We're assuming there's gonna be a healthy amount of vitriol attached to this one, so if you really like Rebecca Black for some reason, then you should probably head over there and stick up for her. Or not. It's Friday. We've also got the top 10 controversial magazine covers coming out on Sunday. So for a tiny bit of history with some pop culture thrown in, make sure to put that one in your queue. Also, top 10 faulty towers moments also on Sunday because John Cleese. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. And this I think is our hardest one yet. What are the blocks in Tetris called? Tricera blocks, tetrominoes, septicubes, or they don't have a name, they just call them Tetris blocks. You are correct if you said Tetrominoes. Also, fun fact, about once a month at the Watch Mojo office, we set up a game of Tetris on the projector and battle it out. It's epic. Anyway, if you want to test your knowledge on that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about Tetris because June 6th, 1984 is the day Tetris was first released by Alexei Pajitnov. So if you love the mind game as much as we do, check these videos out. The incredible history of Tetris, top 10 Game Boy games, top 10 puzzle video games, and top 10 retro video game musical themes. Also, don't forget to head over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And be sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Top 10 worst 3D movies came out yesterday. Top 10 scenarios the hero couldn't have survived comes out today. And next Thursday, we've got top 10 cutest animated movie characters for you. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we have even more lists in need of your input this week. As we mentioned, we just released our top 10 defining songs per decade series from the 1950s all the way to the 2000s. And now we will be satisfying you metalheads and hard rockers with top 10 decade defining hard rock and heavy metal songs. So if you're one of the people who complained about that, you should probably vote. To that end, we also have top 10 Judas Priest songs. So if you have an opinion between Painkiller and Breaking the Law, make it known. Adam Brazy, this one's for you, and to everyone else who suggested it on the Suggest page. And to continue our video game series, this week we've got Top 10 6th Gen Games. So it's a smackdown between the likes of Halo 2, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Metroid Prime, and many, many more. Vote on, gamers. And for all you beer drinkers out there, Top 10 Beers. What's your favorite beer? make sure to let us know. And finally, we've got a touchy subject. We've been debating this subject in the office for quite a while, and we can see both sides of the argument. So we thought we'd leave it up to the viewers to decide for themselves. Top 10 Notorious Hate Groups. As with all of our similar lists, it would be an informative clip where we would discuss historical facts, because as scary as some of these groups are, it's important to understand their origins, the reasons for their growth, and finally why some of them may have waned in influence. However, we can think of many better videos to do, so let us know how you feel in the comments and we'll definitely take that into account. And as always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com suggest to let us know what you think. 
And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you may have an opinion on. What time is it? FAQ time. We're in our Watch Mojo shirts, we're locked in position on the red couch, and Dan and I are ready to answer your burningest of questions. Aren't we, Dan? We are. Let's get right down to it. We got an email from Antonio DeFile asking us about the criteria for top 10 decade defining song series. He says, Hey, Match Mojo's people, I'm a big fan of you guys, but at your decade defining songs 80s, how was Rock of Ages by Def Leopard not on that list? It was one of the biggest songs of the 80s. I'm not bashing your thought process, I just want to know, ho, oh, it didn't get in there. Please email me back your answer in What's Your Mojo series. Thanks. Well, funny you should mention Def Leppard. Leopard. <laughs> because our boss is a huge, huge fan. So, good question. But anyway, uh, the truth is, while Rock of Ages has taken on a more significant role in rock history as of late, both Photograph and Pour Some Sugar On Me are more iconic when it comes to decade-defining songs in the 1980s, which takes us to our next two points that we want to make. We wanted to avoid featuring the same artist too frequently in one decade or in multiple decades. So, rightly or wrongly, to spread the love around, we chose one song per artist per decade. Now, granted, this ensured that a lot of popular songs were left out, but we feel it made the series a little bit more complete and more inclusive. Because we were focusing on decade defining, invariably this meant commercially successful and omnipresent. So, while we now totally recognize that some metalhead mojoholics were mad about the sparse metal entries, in reality, in some decades, metal just wasn't as mainstream and thusly decade defining as we'd all like it to be. But since we're about to release top 10 decade defining rap songs, we thought we'd make it up to you by releasing top 10 decade defining hard rock and metal songs. Rebecca mentioned that earlier, so you can start voting now. Okay, next question. I can't believe I have to say this name. Amir Boobtitsky asks, are the top 10 lists meant to be amended in time or they remain fixed for eternity? And also, how much time does it take for Dan to gulp down his snacks as his neck is so freaking long? All right, all right, all right, all right. First of all, rude, but let me answer the question. Because you can't replace a YouTube video without deleting the old URL and creating a new one, we don't update our countdowns. That is, we didn't. Yes, but as tastes change and new songs and albums and movies are released and as our audience grows, we decided it really wasn't that big a deal to update our countdowns. So we created the Reduxes. So basically yes and no. We don't update original lists, but we do create Reduxes by taking in feedback, considering new entries and whatnot. Speaking of which, we have now added the option to add a comment to each of the entries in our suggest tool so that you can, for lack of a better term, make your case as to why something should or shouldn't be on a list. Check it out, tell us what you think and what other tweaks and features we should add to the suggestion tool. Lastly, we have a question that's addressed to Rebecca, lucky you, from Eric Lopez. Rebecca, would you mind addressing why there is so much emphasis on the perceived homoeroticism of some of the performances in the top 10 ridiculous 80s music videos? I realize you were probably not the one that prepared the script, but I am curious why your production team chose that facet to focus on throughout this video. Like all countdowns, Watch Mojo's lists have an element of subjectivity to them, but by and large, we strive for objectivity and authenticity. In other words, our lists reflect research and empirical data, contrary to what you might think. Yeah, we certainly tweak things to give them an entertaining spin, but if one of our lists or entries reflects a certain theme, that's usually just a reflection of the data we've come across. If we say that a given music video raises eyebrows because of its homoerotic or violent or whatever theme, it's less about what we think and more about what the different lists and resources have echoed. Now, this objectivity, albeit imperfect and subject to valid criticism, is what has helped us grow to a top 10 YouTube channel with almost 4 million subs. Yeah, we're awesome. But, of course, our aim is never to offend, so if we did, we apologize. Anyway, let's get to the comments of the week. I've got one for you right, Mio. From Masso Girl, who commented on top 10 unresolved movie cliffhangers, Inception left me hanging. Does the top fall? Does it keep spinning? The world may never know! Spoiler alert, geez, and they say we're bad. Anyway, Sarcastic Shannon commented on top 10 Star Trek movies. I knew Wrath of Khan would be number one. I guess you would say it was no contest. Anybody? No? Okay. 
Arlechino333 left a comment on top 10 darkest and scariest Disney moments in reference to a line where we say that a scene left us white as a sheet. I've never been white as a sheet, I'm black. That's to the point. Srami004 commented on top 10 decade defining songs of the 1990s. Great list. I smell a karaoke session. Come on, Watch Mojo, step up and accept the challenge. Smiley face. You know what? I would accept that challenge because I'm a total karaoke nerd. She is. It's really embarrassing. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for the questions and comments. And if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments. Catch us on Twitter or Facebook or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ. And if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo? Get busy living or get busy dying. Yo-yo. No, is that right? Yoda? Yo yogurt? What?